Underneath here we have the right atrium. This is the right auricle. Underneath here, the right ventricle. Here is the left atrium, the left auricle, and the left ventricle. Deoxygenated blood from the right side of the head, neck, the brain, and the right arm are going to travel through the right brachiocephalic vein here. Deoxygenated blood from the left arm and left side of the head and neck are going to travel through the left brachiocephalic vein. The right and left brachiocephalic veins merge to form the superior vena cava. Down here we have the inferior vena cava. Both the inferior vena cava and superior vena cava drain into the right atrium. From the right atrium, blood travels through the tricuspid valve here. Here's a better view of that tricuspid valve. So here's the tricuspid valve. Here are the chordae tendini, and they're connected to the papillary muscles. Blood travels through the tricuspid valve and enters into the right ventricle. From the right ventricle, blood travels through the pulmonary semilunar valve and enters the pulmonary trunk. The pulmonary trunk is going to bifurcate into the right and left pulmonary arteries, the pulmonary arteries. From there, blood goes to the lungs, uh, picks up oxygen, and then returns to the heart. That oxygenated blood from the right lung is going to return to the heart through the right pulmonary veins. Oxygenated blood from the left lung returns to the heart through the left pulmonary veins. Both the right and left pulmonary veins are going to drain into the left atrium. From the left atrium, blood travels through the mitral valve or bicuspid valve here. These are the chordae tendini, the papillary muscles. Once blood gets here, it's at the, the left ventricle. So that is the, um, the aortic semilunar valve. From there, blood enters the ascending aorta. Okay, we see part of the ascending aorta here. The first branches that we see come off of the ascending aorta. And the ascending aorta branches off forming the right and left coronary arteries. This is the right coronary artery here, the left coronary artery, the anterior interventricular artery, the circumflex artery. Here's a better view of that inferior vena cava. And here is the coronary sinus here in blue. So here is the ascending aorta. This is the aortic arch here and that continues to descend, forming the thoracic aorta. The first branch off of the aortic arch is the brachiocephalic trunk. The second is going to be the left common carotid artery, and the third is the left subclavian artery. Okay, any questions about that one?